In this video, I will show you what a time series graph looks like, and I will be plotting um, some information given in a table onto a grid like this, and I will show you exactly what it looks like, and I'll talk a little bit about seasonal variations. So in this question I've got, the table gives information about the numbers of cars made in the UK for each four-month period. Now, often you will find it's in three-month periods, okay? So if it's three-month periods, we will be talking about first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, and fourth quarter. But here we've got a four-month period, so in a year there's going to be three seasons. So four-month four period from 2003 to 2005 to the nearest 10,000, okay? So a number of cars made to the nearest 10,000. So what I can do is I can plot this data. In a time series graph, you will find that the time is plotted along here and the other values are going to be around here, okay? So we've got the first season, which was January to April. Okay, so first season, there's 57 to the nearest, uh, 10, 57 to the nearest 10,000. So let's plot 50, uh, 57 here because that scale has been set, mentioned here. So 57, I will put across there, and that's there. Next one, in the second season of 2003, notice that I've got second season of 2004, second season of 2005. I'll come back and explain a little bit more afterwards. But in the second season of 2003, it was 53. So that's the second season of 2003. Then we have the third season, which is 56. And again, this is third season of 2003. And that was 56. Okay, and now we're moving on to 2004 here, and you can see 2004 here, and again I have first, second, and third seasons here. So first season, 58. Uh, second season is 52. Third season is 55. And then I'm on to 2005. So 2005, and I've got my three seasons for 2005. So first season, 57. Uh, second season is 50, which is here, and third season is 52. Okay, so once you've plotted these um, points, what you do is you join them with straight lines. So the first value to the second value, okay? So that's your first line. Your next line would go like this, okay? And I'm just going to complete this, um, and then I'll start recording again. So this is my completed time series graph now. What I can do now is I can draw a trend line. Okay, so I can see that this is a decreasing trend or a downward trend. And what I can do is I can sort of roughly, by eye, look at, looking at these points here, roughly go through the middle of this, okay? And that would be a rough trend line that I can draw just by looking at it using my eyes, okay? So I'm gonna try and do that now and my trend line looks like it will go roughly here. Okay, notice that I have not gone too far beyond this first season on the left. I don't want to extrapolate here. And I've gone to the end here, season three of 2005. Okay, so this clearly shows a downward trend or a decreasing trend. Either of those terms would be fine. Now, once I've got my trend line, I can find other things as well. So, if I look at the trend line and I find that there's three points, okay, that are below the trend line, and each of these three points, they, they have a pattern. They, they always seem to be in season two, okay? So, in season two, which is from May to August, we have very few cars being sold. So, in season two of 2003, it's below my trend line. In season two of 2004, again, it's below. And season two of 2005, again, it's below. So this, this is a seasonal variation that I'm seeing here. So in season two, I, I, I find that cars are, there's fewer cars being sold in season two. So this is a seasonal variation. Uh, you might also notice that in season one, um, car sales are at their highest. So season one, it's the highest here, out of these two, okay, so out of these three here. Then I've got, again, season one of 2004, which is higher than season two and three of 2004. And finally, season one of 2005 is higher than season two and three of 2005. So there's two seasonal variations that I can easily notice. So the lowest 
um, car sales happen in season two, and the highest car sales are happening in season one. So these are seasonal variations. So what I've done now is I've written some questions for you to answer. Now, I did mention before, and I think I said um, uh, car sales here, but actually the context is cars being made. This is going to be important because I said suggest a reason why there is the seasonal variation. Okay, and suggest a reason why. So make sure you relate it to the context, which is number of cars made not being sold. 